Hello baddies, it's the Bad Enabler here, and I'm about to unbox a present that was sent to me from Scent Maven, aka Shopping and Scents. She didn't have to send anything, of course, but she says after X many years, and I say X many because it's been that many, that there is no longer a number for it, it's just a giant X. That she would never forget my birthday, so she sent me a giant, giant box, and it is filled with something. I know what it's filled with because I saw the label, and it is filled with ye village candle, village candle. I was surprised and shocked because you never know with Scent Maven Shopping Incense what she's going to get you. And I always, always, always love the Village Candles, but I don't buy them frequently. I only get them when she gives them to me or once in a very blue moon when I find them somewhere at a TJ Maxx or Marshalls or Home Goods. Uh, and I'll pick one up there if it's a really, really good scent. The reason why I don't pick them up often is because I have a lot of candles and scents and things like that. So I don't feel compelled to get any more additional ones unless it's, you know... But these, I know that the burn on them is going to be great. I know that it's going to smell amazing. And I see this shirt keeps popping up uh, in the video. It's uh, just a little bit goes like that. Like that way you can see it over there. I love wearing this shirt because whenever I wear it in front of this one particular friend, he looks at the shirt and he says, but it doesn't say which college you went to. I look at him every single time. Like it's, but it's not spelled correctly. Oh, I didn't even notice. You know? Anyway, I digress. So, here with the giant box of Village Candle is the unboxing. So, let's open it up and see. There's lots of stuff inside. Uh, paper, not paper, plastic. Packing slip I'm not going to look at because it might have the prices on it. Who knows? It looks like there's two of these. They could be car scent things, but they also could be used inside of your closet. So if you don't have a closet, well, I assume you have a closet, but if you don't have a car, you could use them in your closet. If you don't have a closet, you could use them in your in your bureau. They will make everything fragrant. Which, which scents are these? These are Cherry Blossom and Just For You, which I don't know what scent Just For You is, but it looks like it's got flowers on it, so that's pretty cool. And here is Cherry Blossom. Ta-da! And I'm still not biting my nails. It's been months. I broke, hopefully broke or broke that bad habit. Um, so hopefully that'll continue and we will see. They wrap this incredibly well. In case you want to see, I will do a good, decent job at showing you. So that's how it's wrapped. It's saran wrapped or some other kind of wrapping, but plastic wise. Maybe they didn't want to spend the money for saran wrap. I don't know. Saran wrap is a name brand. And the box is empty. So let us unearth these gems. Uh, speaking of gems, I just want summer to be here because it is warm out, but we don't have all the benefits of summer. We still get those sporadic cold days. So I'm in New York if you're not familiar with where I'm from. Ooh, there's a little candle thrown in here. And it says Dolce Delight. So let's see what Dolce Delight is like. It says try me, it's what's inside. This is cute. I wonder, I wonder if this was included if this was picked out or if this was thrown in. I'll have to find out from Scent Maven. Dolce Delight. What is that a picture of? Ice cream? It might be ice cream. I don't know. Let's find out. And this is the top of the candle right there. Oh, it smells like frosting. It smells like sugar. One wick. There you go. Very cool. It's 3.25 ounces. So it's comparable to the tiny... Yankee Candle Candle, the little one that they sell sometimes for like five dollars or maybe three for ten. I'm not sure if they still do that or if that... Oh, there's another little one. All right, she picked these out. These weren't free. I don't think they were throwing free candles. Um, so this one is Lemon Pound Cake. By the way, I got the cake from Carlos for my mom in, uh, in Brooklyn, and it was delicious. It was the cannoli cake. This smells like a lemon bar. It smells like confection sugar and lemon. Yum. Oh, actually, what's funny is that it looks like a lemon bar. On the little label, it looks like a lemon bar. It doesn't look like lemon cake. Anyway. All right. Thank you, Send Me Even. Let's see which other one she... Uh -huh. All right. So she got me French macaron, or French macaron, which is actually one of the ones that I have seen and picked up and smelled and said, no, don't do it. Don't do it. You don't need to get another candle. So leave it to Bestie. She gets it for me. It super super fragrant it smells like sweetness and sugar and raspberries and cream and i love raspberries it says butter vanilla cream coconut musk 
Butter, vanilla, cream, coconut musk. So there you go. I wanted this for the longest time, so I... That's very funny if she ordered this online, which I assume she did because it came from, from Village Candle. Campfire Tales. Oh, I've had this one before. This one I know I've picked up before. Kind of smells like a s'more. Cute label, too. Two wicks. Brown wax. Kind of smells like a s'more, but it doesn't have the scent description on the front like the other one did. So... To me, it smells like, uh, like, kind of ember woods. Not really patchouli, but I swear it smells like a hint of chocolate and marshmallows. It smells like a warm campfire, and it's called Campfire Tales. That actually makes sense. It smells like a s'more to me. So if you haven't tried this, you might want to pick one up and just give it a sniff. This one's also brown. I have not seen the label yet. Oh, it's another Campfire Tales. Oh, good. I wonder if I, I wonder if she knows that I like this one, or if she knows that I had this one before, because she got two of them. That's very interesting. All right, so maybe, maybe she knows that I like this one. Maybe she knows that I like s'mores. This one right here is Cinnamon Bun. Oh, that's going to be good. The scent description's on the bottom. Cinnamon, nutmeg, maple, and vanilla. Ooh, it smells like a Cinnabon. There's nothing better than a, There's one in Times Square, actually. A Cinnabon? There is one in Times Square. It just smells delicious. I think there's also one in Port Authority or Grand Central, but, you know, you don't want to trek through all of that to... The, it smells so intoxicating. There's nothing better than coming home and smelling cinnamon. Like, it smells like cookies are in the oven. It smells like cookies are being baked. It's very homey. Oh, this is... I did not expect this one at all. Holy moly. Uh, I don't know how to pinpoint the scent on this one. It's called Cherry Vanilla Swirl. It smells like something I've smelled before. Uh, it's like a like a Bazooka Joe kind of smell. Remember the Bazooka Joe bubblegum? When you would unwrap it and it would have that kind of powder on it, that white stuff, and it would be so that it didn't stick to the actual paper? It smells a little bit like Bazooka Joe. Uh, Bazooka Joe gum and the other gum, the gum that came with the trading cards. Do you ever have Garbage Pail, car Garbage Pail Kids or one of those other ones from way, way, way back when that had the wax paper around it? They were like 25 cents or 50 cents for a package of cards and inside was a little stick of gum. You could still buy them on eBay, but if you buy them, there's a little thing that says do not eat the gum under any circumstances at this point because it's 25 years old or 30 years old. It smells like one of those pieces of gum. This is delicious. Cherry vanilla smell, swirl. It does not smell, it smells neither like cherry nor vanilla. The scent description says black cherries, strawberry, vanilla bean. It smells like one of those sticks of gum. It smells amazing. Thank you, Scent Maven. Thank you, Shopping Incense. Oh, wow. All right. So I, she sent these five wonderful candles, which I'm looking forward to using. And these two little candles, which are still wonderful, but I'm also looking forward to using. So if you see, there's a candle lamp right there. See it? I'm pointing right there. And there's another one right here. So what I can do is I would like to use these in the candle lamps because why not, right? It will emit a lot of light. That'll be awesome. And give up some lemon pound cake scent and give up some Dolce Delight scent. So thank you. That made me so happy. Thank you so much, Sunny. And um, I appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. I love you, love you, love you. Uh, if anyone wants to see more, by all means, like and or subscribe. And I will, I have the Ebates link in the description box down below. Please don't forget to use it under any circumstances. Doesn't matter if it's Bed Bath & Beyond, Macy's, Unit Bath & Body Works. Just go through Ebates. Uh, it's also known as Rakuten now. They renamed it for some reason. But you get cash back. I hope that if she shopped that Village Candle, I hope that if it's on there that she used it. So, uh, oh my god. This one, this one is... Basically, if you like pink bubblegum from Bath & Body Works, you'll like this one. Cherry Vanilla Swirl. And you would never expect it to smell like that. So anyway, I digress again. I will see you all soon. Oh, Instagram is Bad Enabler on Instagram. And it's one word, Bad Enabler. So shoop, I will see you soon. XOXO, everybody. Thank you again. Happy birthday to everybody whose birthdays are the summer. XOXO. Bye.